kind of, I think you just have to go in there and uh, play the game, you know, and play the best you possible, uh, best you can really. I mean, uh, I mean, to that report, uh, I mean, I don't really know anything about Cleveland. I've never been there. Um, I haven't really talked to their coaching staff yet. I mean, come tonight, so, um, I mean, it's impossible for some late opinions when you really, um, haven't really done any research uh, on the actual place, so I'm probably going to visit there, um, hang out with them, and the NM Olympics will be excited to play for uh, them. Uh, I mean, it's always, uh, it's always a, a benefit to have weapons every I mean, uh, uh, Odell's an unbelievable player. Um, Sterling Shepard also is an incredible player. Uh, I think wherever you are, it's always uh, valuable to have um, guys you can throw the ball to and uh, put them in a bunch of different places and grab them the ball maybe. Uh, um, I just, I, I think I'm the best quarterback here. Uh, I think I, uh, uh, I think I can diagnose defenses and move forward and still be and make good decisions. Um, and I think uh, we're all competitors, and uh, I think every other quarterback should uh, um, have the same exact as I do. I mean, the NFL is a very daunting organization. Every team you go to has its own unique set of challenges. And uh, uh, the Browns have their uh, unique set of their own challenges, and every team has their own. So wherever they're ranked up, um, I'm excited to take on those challenges and overcome some, some obstacles. Uh, I mean, my parents always said that coming into my uh, crib room was always dangerous because bottles would come flying out of nowhere. Um, but I mean, I just, I've kind of always had an arm, an arm of some sort, uh, pitching in baseball, uh, 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 tennis, uh, football. I mean, that's just kind of a lucky ability. Of it. Tennis gets pretty lonely. Uh, it's an individual sport. Um, all of your, uh, all of your friends are. All of your friends are your enemies at the same time. Uh, really, really a really weird relationship. It's a complex kind of dynamic. And it's, uh, I enjoy the team aspect of football. I mean, all of your, um, all of your friends you want to work with. And uh, it's just, it's unique. You get to play along with your friends and your brothers and you never believe it. And um, that's really ultimately true for football. Uh, I have not. Well, I, I have, I've had uh, informal um, visits with almost every team, um, but uh, formally, I uh, have not yet. Um, I think first and foremost, uh, you have to play, you have to play ball. You have to, you have to play on the field um, in order to kind of earn that initial respect. But I think, uh, I think leadership is a very personal thing that the organization refers to. Uh, it takes time, you have to build relationships, uh, and uh, you have to try to each individual. Uh, individual. Uh, some guys respond to uh, get a little better, some, get better. some guys respond to uh, uh, encouragement or uh, inspiration. Some guys get down to themselves, so you kind of help help them. Uh, I don't think uh, leadership is. Uh, it, it ha you have to lead in your own individual. I'm a really big rock rock guy, um, but and if I try to get my team to see this, so it's not about me, it's about the team. So anything that I can do to make the team better, I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that on a person by person basis because that's where I have the most relationships. I think I make very quick decisions, uh, very quick and decisive decisions. Um, I always say that I think if you can get to three, four, Things in your progression, uh, you give yourself more opportunities to get the ball on the field. If you're a, if you're a one, two, and one guy, uh, and you say throw the ball, I don't know, like 20 times a game, uh, NFL 30 times a game, you're giving yourself, I don't know, what, 70, 80 opportunities to get the ball on the field. If you can get into one, two, three, and four, uh, then you're giving yourself 150, 160, twice as many opportunities to actually push the ball on the field. So, um, uh, that's where I think my best attribute is. Uh, I can sit in the pocket and uh, uh, do this as well. Uh, what would you address it here? Um, I think that's why all these interviews and meetings and visits are awesome. Um, because teams actually get to know me and they don't have to. Uh, uh, 
find out through third parties. Uh, I think that's what I'm looking forward to most of this combine is, is uh, um, getting to know teams and um, uh, yeah, maybe not part of the five, but uh, uh, yeah, it's helpful. It's a great summer to watch it. Uh, 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 they're a fourth, fifth grade. It's going to be a part of this. It's really cool. Uh, 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 um, are you a reporter for the Bills? <laughs> uh, no, not team by team, more just kind of advice um, on how to conduct yourself. Um, I mean, I got a lot of advice on how to, how to, uh, while I was in college, how to be better in college. Uh, a lot of leadership advice, um, a lot of combine specific advice. I mean, uh, Jared Goff is telling me that every single um, nook and cranny you can find in the schedule for an app, take it because you will be tired. Um, so I think it's really cool when, when um, pros or, or a lot of my close friends, like Caleb Benedoc, Kenny Clark, Jayon Brown, a lot of my really close friends from UCLA and the NFL are giving me advice and, and giving back and, and helping all of us here uh, become, basically be more equipped to, to succeed. It's awesome. I mean, it's it's awesome to compete with someone. I mean, uh, uh, he got the better of us uh, two times I've played him uh, at SC. And, I don't that one down, I don't think ever, uh, and Stanford at that, but uh, uh, it's cool to get out there and compete, and, and um, hopefully their names will be side by side uh, as we move forward in the NFL, and, and uh, I think I wish him the best as he, as he does me. It's a really friendly competition, um, until the pads get on, and it's really big, not so friendly. No, I get the ball. ball is ball, we're not really... That's what we do is we throw the football, so uh, coming here, I thought, why not? You know, a lot of questions I actually get from teams are basically like, what's your goal at, uh, at the end of your report? What are you trying to accomplish? And I would say my answer to that is to be, uh, have my coach completely satisfied with, with what I've done. Whatever he asks me to do, I'm going to do that to the best of my ability. If he asks me to be a backup, I'm going to be the country's best backup quarterback. I'm going to support my starter um, through everything. I mean, it might be, I don't know, a rough relationship at start at the meeting because they kind of see the dynamic, but I'm going to do absolutely everything I can to help this team. Um, if they ask me to keep even the, st uh, keep the starting job, I'm going to keep my butt off. So I think whatever a coach asks me to do, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, I do, I do not think I have any. Josh, if somebody asks you to switch positions, do you do that? What position would you say I should switch to? Whatever. Just uh, somebody switch you to wide receiver, tight end, uh, offensive lineman, would you try and use those coaches? Good question. Um, maybe. I mean, uh, quarterback's pretty fun. I like a lot. Uh, I, uh, I like being in control of things, so it'd be, it'd be tough for me to give that up. Uh, I really like being able to uh, kind of control everything that's going on the field. I think what would drive me crazy if it was like a game winning drive or game winning play and I didn't touch the ball in some sort, that I think that would kind of drive me a little crazy. So, I mean, I'd be open to it, but quarterback is uh, it's probably good. <laughs> Um, kind of. I mean, uh, we, we all work our butt off. If we didn't like football, no matter how talented we are, we wouldn't be in the position that we all are uh, here this week. Um, I mean, I love football all of my heart and soul. Um, and uh, if I didn't, I just don't think I'd be able to move in through the grind of college. Um, I mean, football is an unbelievable team sport, and that's what's so cool about it is that I'm not playing for my own passions um, or exclusively for my own passions. I'm playing for all of my teammates. So it's cool when uh, you can throw a touchdown at the Rose Bowl and turn to the sideline and see 120 of your best friends all jump into it. You can see administration and, and um, uh, fans that you know personally because you're in class with them. Um, you can see your coaches. You're, you're, you're playing for them. And I think that's what's uniquely cool about football is um, – 
that it's such a complex sport and, and winning a game, winning a, a, a championship of any sport, so many things have to go right in order to win that. That's why that's why I think football is so cool. That's why I love the sport is because it's really the ultimate team game. No, I, I think that's that's why I'm excited to be here. Um, I mean, if, I think if teams still if teams still question uh, my love for the game um, after this week and after they actually really got to know me, that might bother me a little bit more. But um, I think that coaches can really see um, what I care about. Cold weather actually reminds me of family, because um, every Christmas we go back to uh, Philadelphia and uh, my grandma stays and all our aunts, uh, uncles, and uh, my cousins would come together and uh, we'd hang out for a week, so um, I cold uh, I mean, it's it's football. That's 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 football weather. Um, it's seeing some of the cool shots in, uh, in the history of the NFL and TV, or some of those snow games with some cool Patriots and and, um, and whatnot. I mean, it's that's ball. <laughs> I think it's just a mixture of everything. I think it's it's kind of like I was saying with leadership, like there's not sort of one secret sauce. Uh, I think it's it's a collection of just uh, everything. I think they have to uh, test my capabilities on the board, uh, make sure I, um, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I said it was wise, uh, get my feel for some personality, and uh, maybe if they think I'm a good player but not a good fit for their uh, personality profile, I respect that. I mean, a team is evaluating not just how good you are on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, but how good of a fit you are for the team. So um, I'm just trying to come out here and present who I am as a person and a player uh, and uh, and do what I can to get let them make the best decision whether I would be the right guy to lead the franchise. You know, I, I really don't know. Um, I think that's for the teams to decide because I think teams are looking for different kinds of personalities and all different kinds of guys. Um, I can do. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna present a fake, a fake image of myself. Like some advice to someone who's had issues in the past or have these pre-rehearsed um, questions on. I'm sorry, I won't ever do that again. I think that you have to be yourself. You have to be authentic, and you have to. Um, show that you've learned and grown over, grown over things. You have to own your mistakes. Um, and I think that uh, that's what I'm trying to show. I'm trying to show who I really am, not who I'm trying to be, because I want them to draft me, not who they think. I don't want them to draft someone they think they're getting and then not to get that guy. So I think that's also what your teammates are wanting, because your teammates don't want a fake shell of yourself. Teammates want you to be you every single day so that you're that reliable rock that they can count on. Absolutely. I think every single person in this draft should have the same exact answer. Uh, um, I think I've, uh, I've, I've learned a lot. Um, I mean, I went 16 and 0 in high school, um, won a state title. I uh, went 6 and 6 in college. That's my final year before going to the NFL. Um, and uh, I've, I've learned probably a lot more from losses. Uh, you learn how to deal with adversity. Um, I've had new coaches every year. Um, you learn how to deal with uh, some guys in the locker room that were bought in but are starting to sell out a little bit, so you have to make sure everyone's together. Um, the ship sails as not go. So I think I've learned how to how to be that, like I was saying, kind of steady rock through the process. Um, make sure that your teammates can really rely upon you. Um, off the field, I've learned how to, how to conduct myself a lot better. I'm not going to change who I am. Um, I still am me. I just sometimes there's a time and place for everything. That's what I've learned. And, and in all these interviews, I, I you have to own your mistakes. I'm, I may not have broken the actual letter of the law, but I understand that I have made mistakes in the past, and um, I have grown from it. And I, it's a, it's a process that never stops. Um, you're never going to become the perfect person, and I think you kind of have to constantly push uh, to become better and better uh, each and every day as a person, as a player, and, and um, everything.